Before we start, please make sure to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon to turn your notifications on, that way, you won't miss a single upload. The Mercedes-Benz EQS sedan is a technological marvel and represents the first big step toward full-line electrification for the German automaker. The obvious next step is to use the EQS recipe in an SUV form factor feels like the correct move. Mercedes wants the EQS to carry on its lineage of luxurious off-roaders, and in my brief stint riding shotgun, the EQS SUV definitely proved capable or capable enough until the EGQ arrives. At an off-road course within the grounds of the Mercedes manufacturing facility, not the deserts of Nevada pictured here, the electric SUV tackled steep inclines of over 20 degrees and declines of well over 40 degrees without any scraping or scratching. As with most other Mercedes SUVs, this EQS SUV has a dedicated off-road mode and a hill descent control feature. The former lifts the standard air suspension, projects a front-facing view, and or an overhead 360-degree view, and shows an off-road specific screen, displaying various degrees and angles of movement while on the trail to both driver and passenger. The dual electric motors provides the EQS SUV with immediate torque up some of the steeper inclines, and rear axle steering, standard in the US at up to 10 degrees, makes the EQS feel nimble through the tight twisty trails. Again, this isn't a compact crossover, but it navigates tight turns exceptionally well. Even with camouflage draped over the exterior and some details still under wraps, the EQS SUV is clearly ready for the road. In my brief 10-minute ride, this prototype showed off comfort and capability, as well as some tech we haven't seen in any Mercedes product in the US to date. The new Mercedes-Benz EQS SUV will be built, as mentioned, at the automaker's Tuscaloosa manufacturing facility. And soon the smaller EQE SUV will be built alongside it. The EQS though, will hit the market first, debuting in full on April 19th, before going on sale as a 2023 model year vehicle.